everyone, thanks for joining me. Today's video is going to be this makeup look. We're going out to dinner with my family tonight and I wanted to kind of glam up a little bit but not go super heavy on the shadow and lips. I wanted to keep it a little bit light just because it's still light outside and it's hot and I just didn't want to really have a dark look for this evening but it's still very glamorous and I really like it. I hope you do as well. If you're interested in seeing this look, keep watching. Go ahead and grab some scotch tape. We're just gonna take off a piece, put it on the back of our hand and stick it there just so it's not so sticky and pulling at our skin. Then we're just gonna go ahead and line up, extending that bottom lash line. Now to prime the eyes, I'm actually going to use a white base. This is the NYX eyeshadow base. And I'm just gonna put that all over the moving part of my lid. This is going to allow the colors to pop a little bit more and then just get rid of that veiny-ness um, on my lid. Now we're going to go ahead and use a gold color. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible in the color Eternal Sunshine. It's a beautiful gold color. And I'm just going to apply this with my fingers all over the bottom part of my lid. Next, going in with a taupe color, anything brown. I'm actually using my ColourPop in the color number three. This kind of has a little bit of iridescence to it and I just love this color. And I'm just gonna use this on the outer corner of my eye and I'm just actually going to first apply it with my finger and then use a small outer V brush from Makeup Geek to blend it out. And then just going in with that brush, I'm just going to blend. Next, I'm going to use the color I Heart This by ColourPop. If I can get it open, I have these on really tight to prevent from drying out. And this is a champagne type of color. It's beautiful. I'm going to actually use this on the center part of my eye just to kind of blend that gold and brown color. I'm actually just gonna use my fingertip and I'm just going to dab that on the center. Now I'm just gonna go in with a skin color, any transition color. This is Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream, and I'm just gonna use my um, Sigma E25, and I'm just going to blend all of that on my brow bone, just so everything looks really blended. Now you can go ahead and take off your tape I'm just gonna go ahead with a black felt tip liner and just get really close to the lash line. We are not going to necessarily create any type of wing, but I just wanna add a little bit of definition, so I'm gonna have to get up really close here. Now we're just gonna leave our eyes for a moment and finish the rest of the face. I'm going to prime with my Perfect Skin Perfection Gel. And I like this as a primer or all on its own, it's awesome. This is in the color Radiant. Mm -hmm. 
For foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible. This is the Advanced Never Fail Makeup in the color, what color is this? Nude Beige. And I'm going to apply this with my Beauty Blender. Now I just want to cover some dark circles and I'm using the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Age Ageless Eye Concealer. Um, you can use anything you want. This is something that I love and it's an older one. I don't even know if they make it, but um, you can use any type of cream eye concealer you want. But I just want to use a very light amount because I'm going to go in with a liquid concealer. So just going in the very corners to get rid of that blueness. Now going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the color Fair. And I'm just going to brighten up some areas. You can feel free to go a little heavier on something like this if you're using a dampened beauty blender because it does just soak up everything. Just gonna actually add a little touch to my chin too and my cupid's bow. I'm not gonna powder until my foundation and concealer has completely set just because then the powder does stick to any wetness or stickiness from using a beauty blender. So we're just gonna wait on that and work on our brows. I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Blonde. Now that our brows are done, I just want to finish up the eye. So I'm going to go in with a little highlighter color. This is Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. And I just want to highlight a little bit on the brow bone. Go ahead and just dab a little bit in the inner corner too. Now we're just going to go ahead and curl those lashes. I just want to go in and tight line a little bit. Just since we did put a liner, I want to make sure all that's connected. This is just the um, water resistant eyeliner from Jane Cosmetics so cheap and it's the best liner you'll ever use. Now just go in with your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and just go ahead and apply two coats of that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with a little bit of mineral powder. This is in the color Sheer. This is ELF's Mineral Booster. Just going to get a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to tap this on areas that I'm going in with blush, bronzer, any contour. I'm not going to do this all over my face. And just to set my under eye, I'm just going to be using a very pale shade. This is actually the Mineral Correcting Powder from um, Physicians Formula and I just like using this because when you highlight under your eye and you want to brighten, you want to just keep that brightness so you want to use a lighter color. And I'm just going to pat that and roll because I don't want to disturb the area. Now I'm just going to do a very light contour, nothing crazy, and I use my NYX eyeshadow in the color taupe. Yes, I know. 
And I'm just gonna get a angled blush brush. Just gonna suck in my cheeks a little bit. And this will all get blended out, so don't worry. help that blend out and warm up the face. I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite bronzer at the moment. It's from Pop Beauty. It's the Sun Kiss Bronzer. I mentioned this in my July favorites. I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna go in with my Kabuki face brush from e.l.f. Uh, Tarte blush. This is in the color Fearless. I love this color because it is just a beautiful pop of pink and when you're doing such a bronzy look it's nice to have a natural almost flushed pink. And I'm just going to highlight a tad with my Mary Luminizer. bright color for the lips and this is the L'Oreal Paris this is the color riche in blushing sequin I like this color because it's a little bit sheer And that's our completed look. Hope you liked it. It's something that can be very glamorous. You can add lashes to really vamp it up, go a little bit darker, cut in a little bit more with a darker shadow, but I wanted to keep it somewhat natural but still have a really glamorous look for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You know where that button lives. And if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in my next video. Bye.